Free recall is one of the most powerful and basic study strategies there is, and all it requires is some paper, a pencil, and a brain. Now, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate this free recall technique using language learning, but you can apply it to almost any subject that you care about, any time that you want to remember a lot of information for a long time. So let's take a look at the technique first, and then I'll explain a little bit about what's going on later on in the video. This is my Chinese textbook, and I'm trying to learn these vocabulary words. Now, the first thing I do is to study the material to familiarize myself with the words. This particular book is nice because it has these little example sentences that illustrate how the word is used. Now, there are a lot of words here, like 60 or 70 words in some lessons. I'm not going to remember all of them right away. I'm going to stop after 20 or 30 words or so. After I study the words, I do something else for maybe 15 minutes or so. Anything to get my mind off of what I was originally learning. Then I come back to my desk but I don't open my textbook. That's very important. I take my paper and pencil and I try to remember all the words that I can. For Chinese, there's three things to remember about each word. There's the character, the pronunciation, and the meaning of the word. So here I'm trying to write down everything I can remember. Now, remembering one part of the word sometimes can help you remember a different part of the word or a different word entirely. So you wanna sit there and give yourself a few minutes to remember everything you can. That said, this whole part shouldn't take more than 10 minutes or so. At this point, you're not gonna remember everything, right? I usually start out remembering maybe a quarter or a third of what I originally was studying. That's okay. After you've remembered everything you can, now you open the textbook and look for what you missed. You make any corrections, note any details. This part should not take more than five minutes. That's it. You've done one round of free recall. But this technique gets better the more that you do it. So at this point, I take a couple of hours off to do something completely different. Then I come back with a clean sheet of paper and a closed textbook and do the same thing I did earlier. Now, I'm not looking at the first round's results. I don't care about those anymore. I'm focused on pulling out everything I can remember fresh again. As you do this a second or third time, you might start remembering the information in clusters. As I do the free recall exercise, I'm trying to uh, put things that are related together close together, or sometimes I'll draw little lines connecting things if the paper gets too messy. It's not really important to keep the paper neat at this point because you're just gonna throw it away and do it again later. You're not going to get everything right the second time or even the third time, but you should be improving in each round. And at the same time, you should be expanding the time that you spend between rounds. Initially, I do something like a 10 minute or a 15 minute interval. Then I'll do something like uh, two to three hours. Then I'll do something like a day, then maybe a couple of days, then maybe a week if you still wanna keep going. And you can use the same basic technique in other subjects, like I said before. So uh, history or medicine, anytime that you want to remember a lot of information in the long run. Now, hopefully you're using the information that you are trying to remember in the long run as well. So it's not just that you do this exercise for you know three or four days or something like that and then bam you're gonna forget everything. No, hopefully this is information that is important for you to know, you know, three months from now, six months from now, a year from now. Why does this technique work? I'm gonna give you three reasons. Well the first reason is that you're actively organizing the information inside of your brain in a way that uh, rereading certainly doesn't do and even flashcards can't match. So when you are forced to remember something, just looking at a blank sheet of paper, um, it ends up reducing the interference that the various memories have with each other. So you might get confused between two characters if you're learning Chinese, um, but the process of Recalling that information helps you get less confused about them. Uh, there's a lot of studies on the effectiveness of this for memory. I put a, a bunch of those in the description. The second reason is that you're getting the kind of practice that you'd like to get. When you reread something, like let's say you open the book again and you look at the vocabulary words again, and that's your study time or study period, 
it's very easy to convince yourself that you know something just because you recognize something. But recognizing something is not the same as being actually able to recall it and e or even be being able to apply it properly. Free recall is closer to the kind of practice, the kind of skill that you're trying to develop. The third important aspect of this is the intervals. The intervals are really important for strengthening the memory in an efficient way. The ideal time for you to remember something is just when you're about to forget it, but you haven't forgotten it completely. If you find yourself doing this technique and you remember everything that you were studying, well, you probably didn't let enough time elapse for you to start forgetting things again. Now, on the other hand, if you find yourself forgetting everything, like you can't remember anything at all, even though you sit there for 10 minutes trying to come up with something, then you may have waited too long of an interval. So now uh, it's so much harder for you to remember that you're not really getting anything out. Or you could also reduce the amount of stuff that you have to remember. If you give this technique a shot, please let me know in the comments how it's going for you and kind of any problems that you run into. And uh, yeah, have fun. I love doing this. I find it more enjoyable than almost any other study technique because it's just me and a blank sheet of paper and I'm trying to really understand what I know. That's it for this video. Thanks everyone. See you next time.